Hey guys, it's Bookquester again. So today, I will read you this great book, The Flying Machine, Oxford Reading Tree series created by Roger Cunt and Alex Bridge. Nadim was at the airport with his mom and dad. They had been to America for a holiday. Now, it is time to fly home. Nadim's dad was nervous. I don't like flying, he said. I hate taking off. I don't hate it, said Nadim. I love it. On the flight, there was a surprise for Nadim. The steward asked him if he wanted to see the controls. Nadim was excited. He had always wanted to see the flight deck of an airplane. Oh, brilliant, he said. Yes, please. The steward took Nadim and his dad through the airplane. These planes are huge, said Nadim. They hold about 400 people, said the steward. That's a lot of people in one plane, said Nadim. Nadim and his dad went on to the flight deck. They met the captain. We're flying on autopilot, said the captain. The plane is flying itself. Nadim looked at all the controls. I'd like to be a pilot, he said. It takes a long time to learn, said the captain. But what's to stop you? <laughs> Don't let him take over the controls just yet, joked Nadim's dad. I'm a nervous passenger. Oh, dad, said Nadim. After Nadim got home, he went to play at Biff and Chip's house. And Nina was already there. Nadim told everyone about his holiday. I went on to the flight deck of the aeroplane, he said. I'd love to be a pilot, said Anina. Mom called Biff and Chip. They had to go downstairs to help wash up. We won't be long, said Chip. Anina picked up the magic key. Suddenly, it began to glow. I took Anina and Nadim on an adventure. The magic took them. The magic took Nadim and Anina back in time. It took them to a place in America. Why has the magic key brought us here? asked Anina. They heard the sound of an engine. The sound was coming out of a big cloud of dust. A man was driving towards them in a strange-looking car. What on earth is it? asked Nadim. It looks like a really old car. You can't stand there, called the man. You'll be in the way of the flying machine. A strange-looking airplane was standing by a barn. Nadim and Nina had never seen anything like it. Another man was working on the airplane. The first man got out of the car and went over to him. Anita gasped. The two men looked alike. They must be twins, he said to Nadim. Hello, said the second man. I'm Henry, and this is my twin brother, Harold. Who are you? I'm Nadim. This is Anina, said Nadim. You're not spying on us, are you? asked Harold. Why will we do that? asked Nina. We're just about to try out the flying machine, said Henry, but it's a secret. No one has ever made a flying machine before, said Harold. We will be the first people to do it. It's amazing, said Nadim. We've not, we've not seen an aeroplane like this before. The... The twins laughed. A hairy plane, said Harold. That's a good name for it. A hairy plane. But it will never fly, said Nina. But it, of course it will, said Henry. Harold sat in the flying machine. 
"I'm ready!" he shouted. Henry started the engine. The propeller began to turn. It spun faster and faster, but the flying machine didn't move. "I told you so," said Anita. "It's the propeller," said Anita. "It will never work. It's too flat." She picked up the two pieces of wood. It needs to be like this, she said. It acts like a screw to pull the plane through the air. Well, we could try it," said Henry. The twins changed the shape of the propeller, but it still won't fly," said Adam. "You only have a flat wing. You have no way to make it lift up. How will it take off?" "Ha!" said Harold. "We've made a ramp." The faster we go, the higher it will fly. Harold got into the aeroplane. Henry started the engine. We'll see if you're right, he yelled. The propeller spun round, and the aeroplane began to move faster and faster. It's working! Shouted Henry. It still won't fly, said Adam. The plane zoomed off the ramp at full speed. It it rose in the air like a heavy bird. Yeeha! Called Henry. It's flying. The plane flew straight up. It went backwards in a loop. Then it dived towards the ground. Help! Yelled Harold. The plane hit the ground with a heavy bump. Harold was thrown out. It was still going at full speed. It soared towards Nadim and Nina. Stop it! Yelled Harold. Look out! Shouted Henry. No one could stop the plane. It headed towards a big water tank. It's going to crash! Gasped Nadim. The plane went under the water tank. The wings snapped off, but the plane went on. It hasn't stopped," said Henry. The plane didn't slow down. It roared on towards a farm. Harold and Henry jumped into their car and chased after it. One thing's for sure," said Adam to Nina. "Your propeller works well." Henry and Harold's mother and father lived on the farm. Their mother had just done the washing. She was hanging it out to dry. Their father was watering his prized melons and pumpkins. Henry and Harold followed. Nadim and Nina chased after them. Ah,、oh, heck! said Harold. Why won't it stop? Oh my! said Henry. It's heading for the farm. Oh dear! said Nina. I don't like the look of this. How are the plane roared on? It ran through the washing. It squashed the melons and pumpkins. It hasn't stopped! Shouted Harold. Now what are we going to do? Let's hope it runs out of gas soon," said Henry. The plane headed towards the, the town. A woman was painting her house. She heard the sound of an engine. Whatever is that? She wondered. It sounds like a roaring bull. The plane ran into the ladder and knocked it down. The woman fell to the ground. She still had the paintbrush on in her hand. The plane went on. What the heck was that? Gasped the woman. At last, the plane stopped in the middle of the town. It had crashed into a statue. Henry and Harold stopped the car. They both jumped out. This doesn't look good," said Harold. Nadim and Anina ran to see where the plane had stopped. Nadim spoke to Harold and Henry. "You see," he said. The propeller works. Now you need to make flaps and a rudder. Suddenly there was a noise. It sounded like an engine. It came from the sky. It came from up in the sky. Everyone looked up. An aeroplane was flying over town. 
It's a flying machine! Someone shouted. Another Harry plane, joked Nina. The people waved and cheered. The pilot of the plane waved back at them. I know who that is, called a man. It's Wilbur Wright. He and his brother are the first men to fly. Well, I'll be darned, said Henry. So we aren't the first men to fly after all, said Henry. The Wright brothers have beaten us to it. Never mind, said Harold. I have an idea for a boat that goes under the water. The magic key began to glow. It was time for Nadim and Nina to go. Sorry, we were such a long time," said Biff. "There was a lot of washing up to do." "Never mind," laughed Nina. "The time just flew by, and it wasn't just the time that flew," joked Nadim. The flying machine. Nadim and Nina, Nadim and Nina, go back in time and meet two crazy inventors. Did they invent the first flying machine? Maybe not. The flying machine. Out for reading tree. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe and like the video. Thanks guys and have a good day.